still here. Yep. Shout out to Mick Benzo, David Bowles, Zulu Nation, Aquarius Boys, Violators, in memory of Chris Lighty. It was an amazing event. And there was one young man. Dude, there were several people that really, that really touched me yesterday. But there was one particular young man that approached me while I was doing my interviews. And his name was Midtown. And he was telling me about his young daughter that has autism and how he's trying to bring awareness to everybody about autism and the effects that it has, not only on their children, but as the family as a whole in society. And little does he know, he's been praising me all day yesterday, telling me how he appreciated that I took the opportunity to listen to his story. But what he did is he touched my heart because my godson also has autism. But my 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 godson is high functioning in the autism spectrum. But I I was so touched by just you know his spirit, his emotion about loving his child so much and just getting, you know, awareness out for autism that I wanted to meet his daughter. So he took me to the car. And as you see in the picture, we took a picture. And so um, it's crazy because the magazine that I write for, Real Royalty Magazine, Miss Fifi, she also has a child that has autism. And she's been asking me to do um, an uh, a article or something on autism. Good morning. And I just felt like I didn't want to rush this project. You know what I mean? This is something near and dear to my heart. And, you know, shout out to my best friend, Karen. Because not knowing, like, he's 17 now. So you got to understand, back then, not knowing about autism, I didn't really know how to react to it or whatever. So um, so I was not there for my godson like I should have been when he was growing up. But um, now, me and him, we have an awesome relationship. We Well, when, when the movies open back up, we'll be going back to the movies and David Busters and all that. But So, shout out to you, Midtown, and your family. Like, you truly touched my heart. Um, you think I made an impact on you. You truly made an impact on me. And he also does music, guys. So I want y'all to go to his page, PuzzleLife.Voice on IG, and go in his description, his bio, and check out his music. His video is amazing. He has two boxes that box with autism gloves. Like I said, um, I'm here for a reason doing this media. And um, like stories like this mean more to me than me meaning a celebrity or an NBA player or a dub, you know what I mean? Like, these are the stories that I love to bring to the, the masses, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm different, you know? There's somebody else in this media world, how you doing, that might say, oh my God, I want to interview such and such and such. But I want to interview people like Midtown and people like Prince from Guns Down, Skills Up. And I met the first hip hop dancer ever in history yesterday. I, I, I don't, I think his name is Tweezy or I don't want to get his name wrong, but I'll look it up. But I'm just telling you, like, I love going to events where, you know, I'm just filled with his, hip hop history. And yesterday I got to meet Grandmaster Kaz and African B Bambata again. You know what I mean? And um, it's stuff like this that that fills me up that says you know what I gotta keep on grinding out I gotta keep working so everybody knows who Coach D is who Code 31 Media what it stands for Code 31 stands for competition officially doesn't exist and 31 is my basketball number I'm a real coach this is where I'm at guys hey good I'm from Southside Jamaica Queens you know this is Baisley Park I walk this park every day and um Usually I'm on Facebook Live, and my audience on there, they love when I get on here and I talk about, you know, what I do with the media and just my everyday life. So, like I said, shout out to Midtown, guys. 
He's an awesome dad. I love his movement with the autism. So go follow him. If you look on this picture, it says puzzlelife.voice. Please go follow his page. Go check out his music. Go check out his movement for his daughter. You know, it's a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of stigmatism around autism. And people look at them strange in, 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 in public and don't know how to react. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Do, do your research on autism and find out what's really going on and try to help support the movement. Support these parents and families out here that are just trying to live and, and survive. You know, so guys, if you want to follow me, Code 31 Media Interviews on YouTube, DM me 31 on Twitter, Code 31 Media, Code 31 Apparel on here, and No Sale 31 on Snapchat. I'm about to get off here, guys. I want y'all to know one thing always keep your faith in God. Whatever ails you, I hope God removes it in abundance. Always remain humble. You never know who you can help and they can help you in return. And never let no one devalue your worth. I walked away from several situations because people thought that they could treat me a certain type of way because they had more money or more connections or more clout, so to speak. You never know. I, I'm not that type of person. I'm never going to cut no one's throat. I'm never going to sacrifice my mind, body, and soul for this. You know what I mean? I'm just me. I'm just Coach D. So, what's up, bro? So, I'm going to get off here and get on my Facebook Live. But just know that uh, anytime you see me at any event, I will interview anybody that has a special story to tell. You don't have to be a celebrity. You don't have to be a legend. If you, you know, you got a big heart and you got something you want to share with the world, I'm open to interviewing you. That's just me, Coach D. Signing off. It's cold 31. The world will know my name and say it. Let's get it. Man. The clothing line, puzzle life, we to keep the conversation going right. on every street right. corner. Right. So Absolutely. this is what we do as warriors, as yeah. dads. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? And like I said, we never turn the lights off when it. Never this turn is the lights every off. Every day for us. Every day of the year, brother. You know so.